Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be creating a micro quarter pipe. We're actually gonna to try to replicate Keen Ramps, 18 inch tall, a three foot wide quarter pipe. And if you're a beginner, so am I. So I hope you're excited to learn from some of the mistakes that I'm gonna make. We have a ton of leftover lumber from a mini ramp project we did a little bit earlier in the year, but we're gonna go ahead, get into it. Hopefully we can build it and then we'll skate it and see how it skates as well. First thing we're gonna do, we have these leftover templates from another mini ramp that we did. We are gonna cut them down to size first. Normally I would use my circular saw instead of my jigsaw, but this one's already out. I'm only making a few cuts today, so we're gonna use this one instead. Okay, so we're cutting down the deck a little bit shorter too. Since this was a three foot tall quarter pipe before we had more deck, now we're just gonna create the deck to where it only has about two feet. So we're gonna make the cut right here. It's gonna be a fun rant. Since we have the first transition piece cut out, we're actually just gonna lay it on top of the other one. And we're gonna go through and trace it and that way we'll make it completely uniform. Now that we have our transitions cut, we need to make sure that we can make it three feet wide. And to do that, you have to subtract how wide the transitions are. But we're gonna make some cuts on the two by fours to make sure that it fits completely to that three feet. So highly recommend the speedy square when doing this. It makes it super simple. So we just got all of our two by fours cut. Some of them are a little old, but it's still gonna work because we're gonna keep this out of the rain. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna build our skeleton for our quarter pipe. So it'll finally start looking like a quarter pipe now. The type of screws that I'm using for this are construction screws. They're two inch screws and these are the number eight. It's kind of like the hexagon, a little star looking shape on top. This is long enough to where it should keep everything together for the long haul, no matter how much you weigh. It should still keep everything in there sound and super fun to skate. All right, so we actually just got this entire skeleton framed up. It's ready to go. The hardest thing I think that it's going to be for us is to attach the steel pipe. So this is an eight foot one. I don't really have the tools to cut the steel pipe for the coping, but I do have some different saws. So we're just gonna give it a whirl and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna cut it three foot. So let's get it. <laughs> All right, so we got our transition piece cut out and then also our deck cut out. It's a little bit more shallow up here, but I think that's okay. We're gonna have like a lot of kids learning how to drop in and roll in. So the hang up factor is low, but we're gonna put some screws in here first and then we're gonna put top sheet on, galvanized steel on the bottom and then we're good to go. All right, so we're applying our top sheet. We just ended up doing masonite since these will be something that we'll kind of use just for events. One of the things I always do is I'll make sure to countersink. So I'll go in and I'll drill first. You can see right here, you'll kind of go through and just make sure it's enough to where the head of the screw actually catches when you put it in. After you make sure that you drill out the hole, you do the pre-drill, it looks like this. And that way it countersinks in there nicely. Got our sheet metal for the bottom of the ramp just so when you ride up it's nice and smooth you can see we had it by two pieces here um just because that's all they had at ace hardware and we have to drill our own holes so trick tip when you're drilling into them i'll use a smaller drill bit first 
just to puncture the sheet metal. And then I'll actually go back through with the bigger one. The reason I'm gonna do the bigger one later is I'll go through and kind of wallow out the hole. That way the head of the screw actually fits in there flush and you're not gonna hit it on the way up. Here you go, check this out. One of the reasons I go around the outside of that with a drill bit is so that when the actual screw fits in here, you can see it's nice and flush right there, but it's still gonna hold. We just finished the ramp. It took a lot longer than we thought it was going to. We're gonna skin it real quick. You can tell Liv's kind of in a hurry and ready to be done with this video. Good look. <laughs> so super excited to get it out. It's not perfect, but I'm still gonna see if we can do like 10 tricks on it. So. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. Let's get it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it taught you a little bit about how to make your own quarter pipe at home. It really is a DIY special on this one. It's not perfect, but it's definitely fun. So if you're looking for something just to skate in the driveway, this could be the perfect option for you. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. We have another video right here. Make sure to check that out. Subscribe to this channel and we'll catch you guys in the next video.